Hi, I'm really happy to be presenting here um, and talking with all of you. Uh, I'm Sharon. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Flamini. Um, I come from both a product background and an academic background in generative AI um, with a PhD in it from Stanford, um, faculty there for a little bit at Stanford in generative models. And I also uh, teach about a quarter million students and professionals online in generative AI. So I'm pretty much obsessed with the space and love it. And so I'd love to share a little bit more um, about what I've been building um, and also um, see if there's anything I can share with you um, that could be helpful as you work with uh, specifically open uh, open source LLMs uh, at scale in production workloads. Um, so I'm going to just share my screen. Great. So at Lama and I, you know, the overall thing we're doing is customizable super intelligence. Uh, really, the goal is for you to own these models. They're open source models um, for you to, to work with. Um, and we're just the infrastructure to make it possible and easy to run. Uh, my background, uh, you just heard about, and my co-founder's background, uh, he was one of the original CUDA architects uh, back at NVIDIA, back when this was all starting. Um, he invented uh, LLM scaling laws, um, along with you know folks at uh, now at um, Anthropic, et cetera. He invented tensor cores um, and uh, deployed large language models to over a billion users at scale at Baidu. Um, and so, uh, yeah, this is where we are. Um, you know, if... If really all you are here for is to hear whether we have some compute for you, well, it turns out we actually do. So um, if you're interested in compute, uh, we actually are scaling uh, some more up right now as as we, as we I speak, actually. So by the time you hear this, um, we'll have a lot more compute available, hundreds more available for you, for you to um, uh, get on to run your LLM. So now let's see exactly what can you run on these LLMs. Um, okay, so first, uh, here's really basic call to the Llama model. This is actually a lower level thing where you can actually guarantee JSON calls. So you can just um, instantiate an LLM here with Llama and I and then call, you know, you know, give it how old are you and say, hey, here's the output type I want. And I want this guaranteed JSON call. So an int um, of an age and units string. Um, so the expected how output here would be 25 in years. And this makes it very easy to work programmatic programmatically, excuse me, um, with uh, these models. Um, as you know, that, you know, parsing strings can be uh, quite hellish. <laughs> Another thing um, that we focus on here is how do we get the model to learn from millions of data points, right? So like you're collecting data from your users and you're gaining more and more knowledge that, you know, you as a person, if you were on the receiving side of that, would actually learn a lot more from. Um, so same with models. Um, so how do you make the model actually much more um, able to accept that data. And that's what we're working on here at Nomini. So both to gain knowledge from that new domain where you're actually getting that information from, um, correcting old incorrect information. So if there's, you know, incorrect things or things, you know, where you don't want the model to really remember all it's learned from Reddit um, as the data set or 4chan as a data set, then here's the chance for you to do that by training the model to do otherwise. Um, behavior change is another very common way to teach the model from data. Um, and so this is all done through um, commonly known as fine tuning, also just pre-training and training the model uh, more broadly. Um, and training has been one of the most important things uh, for creating differentiated LLMs. Um, so OpenAI did that early on with ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot um, from their base models, um, but of course you can too. LLM uh, is again this LLM stack for open models. Here are some stats on on what we're doing today, um, and it's just wrought from two decades of best practices that we've learned from building these things at scale. And and finally, I just want to note that you know to make LLM successful, you don't just need fine tuning or just training. Um, it's actually doing prompting, rag, and fine tuning all of it. And actually, the list keeps going in terms of what you need to do: domain adaptation, pre-training of the models. And so, um, what I really really encourage is folks to think of this more as an and operation and actually employ all of these techniques to successfully build an LLM. And finally, if you're interested in that last step, which is a little bit more difficult, um, fine-tuning large language models, um, feel free to take take my course um, that I teach with Andrew Ng um, online at Coursera. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me.